Hello guys, it's me and Zuri. Before we start this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for weekly videos. Okay, so what you're going to need for this tutorial is Photoshop, as it says in the title. And to start off, we're going to go to File, New. And the width will be 1280 pixels. The height is 720 pixels. This is the YouTube standard. You can have a larger image size, um, but you can't have any smaller than this or the quality will be very bad and I don't think YouTube would let you upload it. So we're gonna go ahead and press OK. So now we have our canvas here which is the size of what we want. What you're gonna do is find a background image. So if you need a background image just go on Google Images and type in background image. You're gonna go to file place to insert your background image and let's just pick a background image. I really like this image. It is pretty simple. It catches people's attention. It looks pretty nice and it's not that bad. Make sure the entire area is covered before you go ahead and place it. Once it's placed, then it's there forever unless you restart the entire thing. Next, we're going to add a few other um, pictures just to add a little bit of looks so we're gonna go to file place again and we're gonna click our next transparent image this image needs to be transparent so that you see so that around the image is um, not a square or something that is um, unrecognizable so it should look pretty nice like this I like to add the explosion because it gets people to look, it gets people to watch your videos, and it's actually pretty simple to, to add to your videos, as you may see. So you just play around with the size until it's the right size that you like. Then you're going to go ahead and place that, and it um, makes a the picture even out after you place it. Next, we're going to go ahead and um, probably add some text to this so people know what they're watching. So let's make it say how to make a YouTube thumbnail. So this is um, a nice thing for the thumbnail to say because it tells people what they're watching so that they don't get confused and think they're clicking on something else, which is pretty important if you want some views. Um, next, what you're going to do is cl right click this text box that has the text on it and you're gonna go to blending options in blending options you can change how the text looks and make the text pop out more so what I like to do is turn on a stroke which outlines the text so you don't get it mistaken with the explosion or anything else in the background then you're going to go to outer glow which makes it pop out just a little more I like to add a gradient so it can pop out even more than that. The gradient is amazing for color. Any colors you want, you can add. It is really, um, it really pops out and it gets people to look at your videos. I'm gonna go ahead and stay with the orange and yellow. Now, you are pretty much done with your um, thumbnail from here. As long as it looks good to you, then it's perfect. If you'd like to add any more pictures, make sure you add them before you start your text. Because after you add the pictures, if you try and add a picture after your text, then it will be over your text unless you change where it is. So see, I can change what layer the explosion is. So it is over the text now from dragging this under the text thing and makes it under it in the photo. So thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe if you like this and leave a like also if you like this. Comment if you'd like any more tutorial videos or if you didn't find this helpful so I can probably help you out. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.